Uh, hi, this is Marty with Flare Security's TCX Training Department. We're here today to show how easy it is to add storage drives to the Latitude system. You can see right here I've already got an archiver drive F, uh, and right next to it I've got a drive, or at least a partition, a logical drive, that I'm going to add to my Latitude system. Now there's a couple of things we need to do first, one being some disk management. So let's go ahead, I've already got it open. If you right click my computer and go to management you can come here and then we want to get to the desk management here under storage and you can see um, well yeah let's make sure again so this is my e drive the one that we're going to prepare for latitude and you can see this is my e drive right here and there's a couple of things we need to do to get this drive prepared starting with formatting it at the right uh, block size so we simply right click and choose a format from the list now we're just going to do a perform a quick format right here, but this is the important thing, the allocation and unit size. We need to make it 64K, as you can see right here, because that's what Latitude needs for its drive. So this is the first step. So we're just going to go ahead and say OK. Now it's telling you you format this drive. You're going to lose everything, but you can see it is empty. So I simply say OK, and it formats it and now prepares it so we can use it uh, for the Latitude system. Let's go ahead and close this. Now there's two other things we do need to do right here on the new drive itself before we even add it to the Latitude system. So let's right click and go to properties and you can see right here is the first one, the indexing. We, uh, you know, we don't want the uh, drive to index uh, right here when we use it as a storage drive. Plus we also need to, uh, let's make sure we get the right drive here, uh, we need to go to the properties here and check one of the uh, settings up here, the policies to make sure it's set correctly, and this is the second thing I was talking about, and here it is right here. Enable write caching, that needs to be in place. So we say okay there. We're going to go ahead and say apply here, right, because we want to make sure that we apply the non-indexing. And then the drive is ready to go. So we say okay. And now what we can do is go ahead and close this down. And we can just launch Latitude, and let's go ahead and take a look. Here's my archiver, my physical view. I'm going to come over here to storage, and you can see down at the bottom is a listing of all my available drives. Up here is the one that I'm currently using, right, my F drive. But down here are the available drives, and you can see right here, uh, right above that one, uh, is the new drive, right? It's completely empty. The free space is the same as the total, but this is the important thing here, the 64 KB block size. We want to add it up to the top part, so we simply click Add and choose the drive itself from the menu right here. And it's got its location. Now the storage uh, amount that we want to allocate, generally the rule of thumb is based on total size, right? So if your total size is one gigabyte, you'd use at the top uh, up here 999, excuse me, if it's one terabyte, right? You'd use 999 gigabytes. Uh, our total up there is 119. So we're just going to give it a little bit of uh, housekeeping space, right? A little bit of room there. So 118 gigs. And this 80 uh, megabyte container size is what we always use. You can still see it's inactive. Let's go ahead and hit save. You're going to see a little message pop up. And there it is. And it basically just says, you know, because you've added the storage drive to it now, uh, you're going to have to manually restart that archiver uh, in order for these settings to take effect. And generally what I do is I'll just come down here to my uh, system, or excuse me, my services. And then from services, what I generally do is and I, I could just start and restart all of the archiver processes. But what I like to do is come right down here to Saffron which is our watchdog program, just restart that, and then that does restart all of the individual server services in Latitude. And you can see right here, they are now coming back up again, and in just a second, they'll all be started, and there we go. All right, let's go ahead and close this, and now you can take a look at it, and our new drive is now active.